So Giselle comes to my house like three years ago with this record called Greek Party. She's like, listen to this record, listen to this record. This is what my I want my my record to sound like. The thing that stood out about it was it was all played live at the same time. Everyone was in the same room together. It was like people playing music together in a room, which is really my favorite way of making a record because it's it's like the only way to guarantee that that music sounds like music. When we made the record, it was kind of like this thing of trying to um, direct uh, the energy of so many gigantic egos because everybody in the band is so good at improvising and doing all these crazy solos and they're all like these virtuosos in, in their own realm and 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 uh, I have to make sure that all of those egos stay on this one choo-choo train. Ben, J'ai adoré mon expérience pour faire cette, euh, cet enregistrement en studio là. La première des choses c'est que c'est la première fois que j'ai eu l'occasion d'enregistrer avec tout le band dans une même pièce qui donne l'opportunité de garder le niveau d'énergie puis qui enlève le stress de, de porter le casque d'écoute et de ne pas sentir que ton implication est là en temps réel. Donc, ton, ce que tu amènes musicalement euh, est tellement différé lorsque tu fais un enregistrement seul dans ta petite cabine. Le recording est juste un autre beast, donc c'est vraiment nice de revenir à la base basique parce que, ultimement, ce que tu veux d'un record est un live energetic, dynamic, finished product, and I kind of feel like recording a record mostly live, or in our case, entirely live, is probably the best possible way to get that. And also the best representation of what we do, because we are a big band, you know, and we play with our energy forward. Like, that's how we approach everything is, you know. Yeah, just right on that edge, just like, Right off the cuff, you know, yeah. whatever comes out, comes out, and just gun it, yeah. People love it. But when you record a record with everyone in the room together, with every part being played at the same time, you, you record it, and then everyone comes in and you can assess what it's going to be just by listening to it. You don't have to use your imagination or think, oh, well, we can fix it with this or fix it. There's no fixing it. We either got it or we didn't get it. And, that, and if we didn't get it, you go and re record it again. And so it's, it's a super immediate way of working because Everything that you need to assess is coming out of the speakers. The most time consuming thing is like setting it all into the press for me. Okay, I use letterpress um, and I use movable type, so I'm doing it the old fashioned way. And I listen to the music of the band <laughs> to get a feel for what the music that's going to be inside sounds like. And I, I guess I was very inspired by the international aspect of it as well as the actual sentiment behind the music. So this type here is Italian type from the Art Deco, Art, Art Nouveau period. It's vintage. And uh, this type here is hand carved in India. This is hand carved by me. <laughs> so this stuff is actually from the 1920s or 30s like physically from the 1920s or 30s. I wanted to have something like iconic and a little bit dangerous. So that's why I chose the saw and the thorns. The rose thorns represent um, being badass, like Kiva says. Can you feel the, it's it's like there's, you know, I touch it and it's like there's this dangerous I, quality I, I feel it. the tumble. It was kind of cool to, I guess kind of redo these songs in the same sort of recording process that they were originally recorded in. Yeah, I think it was sort of a thrilling experience to uh, know that you can't make any fixes in the studio and so for better or for worse, you're going to get what the band was at that moment, you know. Because in every other uh, like method of, of recording and mixing, you have infinite possibilities of like overdubs and remixing and changing the tones. And we didn't have any control over that, so you just have to completely relinquish control and uh, embrace your uh, obvious uh, like audible screw ups. And that's punk rock. Like that's actually what punk rock is all about in a completely different uh, musical form. So it did definitely add this like punk edge to to something that otherwise wouldn't have had that. So.